Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video, we will show with you. This is uh, a news in Arabic actually, but I, I translated in Google translation so you can see what I'm talking about. And this is from the BBC News. Uh, so the uh, Kuwaiti, which we freed our their land from Saddam Hussein one day, we gave them freedom, we gave them life, we gave them a country. And now they want to make a law to execute those who insult the Prophet. Uh, uh, you know, those people, they have no shame. You know what shame mean? I think those people, they are the first of this earth. Now, you know, for us, as people who believe in freedom, uh, we should respond to this in a very, uh, you know, generous way, let us say. Uh, we should show them that, you know what, you make tens of laws, that will not change anything. By the way, all the size of Kuwait is not even the size of a town if you're in the USA. Uh, and, and this, you know, this country, uh, like uh, they are, they are simply hypocrite people. Because uh, I am an American citizen. If I go to Kuwait and I saw the Prophet of Islam, do you think they dare to even arrest me? The whole country is controlled by the by USA Army. What those people are talking about? So what they will do? They will practice lo their law in those poor Kuwaiti or those Arab or those who have no strong citizenship to a country to, to protect them. So we who belong to strong countries, who believe in freedoms, we have a duty to do, to expose this faith religion and this faith belief and this faith Muhammad. And I hope the Muslims are hearing me carefully. You see, you make a threat, you make a law, it doesn't matter. Your prophet is filthy, your wife is accused to be a whore in the Quran, the Shia, they say she is a whore, the Shia, uh, by the way, as long as they want to execute everyone, he insults the Prophet and his wife. Are you going to kill all the Shia in Kuwait, which they are about 40%? Because every Shia in Kuwait, he insults Aisha, not Muhammad Aisha. And this law is made to insult uh, anyone insult Muhammad or his wives. So you can tell it's made by the Sunni Muslim. You know, it's just a stupid, uh, ignorant, cave time. Those people, they are, uh, they are not even human. They are not even, and look, you know, if you see the comments of those who, uh, the Arab, they are talking about this, you will see they are saying, yes, we should uh, kill them, we should execute them, uh, we should put them in, a, in, a, uh, in the middle of the street and, uh, and do the execution. You see, th those are the, the Muslim comment. His name is Nizar Mansour Ahmed Saif from Malaysia. Imagine, imagine a guy is not even an Arab, look what he's saying. Anyway, so... They are saying, yes, we should execute them, we should kill them, we should, uh, anyone he insult the prophet, we should kill him and, and, and execute him. The other guy is saying, yes, we should do it in the middle of the square, you know. Uh, uh, you know, uh, unbelievable, filthy, trashy nation. Uh, you know, I, I, I wish, I wish Saddam Hussein, uh, uh, I wish America, sorry, that never, never fought Saddam Hussein to free this country. They don't believe, you know, why you want to give them freedom when they don't believe in freedom? Why do you want to give them freedom if they are, they themselves are a bunch of killers? What is the difference between those people and Saddam Hussein? There's no difference. At least Saddam Hussein, you know, uh, is, is, he was not, uh, uh, you know, killing people because uh, they are insulting the Prophet. He was killing people for insulting him because he is the Prophet, he is God. <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to share this uh, video with you and my message to the Muslims. The more you make a law, sometimes they want to make a law in the United Nations. They made a law in the United Nations, do you believe it? Saying to, 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 to make it a crime for those who insult the Prophet of Islam in the United Nations. Now, who cares about such a law? Because the United Nations does not have a power for any, uh, you know, uh, you, can, you can make one million law in the United Nations. You go and use it as a toilet paper. Uh, but uh, what, what, what the Muslims do when they do those uh, stuff, actually they are uh, encouraging us, you know, not to insult Muhammad because I don't really insult Muhammad. When I say Muhammad is filthy, I'm not insulting him. I'm just describing who he is. When I say he is a criminal, I'm not insulting him. I'm just saying who he is. But anyway, you can consider it whatever you want. Insult, uh, whatever you want, you know. For me, Muhammad is nothing but a child molester, caravan, Attacker, thief, criminal, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, mad, uh, animal, 
uh, whatever you want. Now, I want to see what the Muslims can do about us exposing Islam and saying the truth. And by the way, um, if you want to see what I do really to Muhammad for real, go and get my book. It's called The Deception of Allah. And I want to see the Muslims refuting my book, making a law. Will not, will not stop us. What law? What law? Actually, you know what? The, the, the more you, you try to resist by making those stupid things, the more you find people are going to, to attack Muhammad and Islam. You, got, you Muslims are just making people more angry, showing them that you are nothing but a stupid idiot who cannot answer, refute, but you want to execute. Hmm? You want to kill Salman Rushdie. What, what, what happened to Salman Rushdie? His book became one of the most popular books about Islam. That's all. And you know, regardless if you killed him or not, he is for sure nobody was able to kill him. But let us say, let us say they were uh, able to kill him. That will make him even more popular and his book would go crazy. So you kill one person, tons of millions will read about your prophet and see how stupid, fool, filthy animal he is. Don't forget to get my book and let us expose Islam. And we are working right now. Uh, in, in, in new, new uh, uh, the print uh, of uh, variant number two, which is going to expose what it's called the miracles of the Quran, the miracles, the scientific miracles of the Quran, because the Muslim they claim there is miracles, etc. You know, in my book variant number two, I'm exposing them a big deal. To get my book variant number one, go to Amazon.com and get it. And as always, we say, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. Let me do that. See you soon. <coughs>